Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at Camera Bits Photo Mechanic 6 and see what the differences are on the new version. Now the big main difference in Photo Mechanic 6 is the program's been completely rewritten into, 60, into a 64-bit program. That should definitely speed the program in general up. We're not going to be taking a look at the ingest speeds or anything like that today. I'm just basically going to be going over sort of what's new and what you can expect if you're trying to decide whether to upgrade from 5 to 6. So the first thing that we have here is it definitely the, it looks different. So they've moved a lot of this information up to the header or the top part of the page that used to be at the bottom. And truthfully, it looks wonderful. It's a whole lot easier to read. These little color icons are much bigger, so I can isolate my images just by clicking that. Besides kind of this movement in basically different colors, this page and a lot of what you're going to see in Photo Mechanic 6 looks exactly as it used to. So we're going to take a look at the information page. So we'll go ahead and click on this I here, and this will bring up where we would write and fill out our caption information. And this looks almost exactly like the old version. So I don't see a huge difference here. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Then we're going to bring up the full size preview. And the full size preview looks very similar as well. So we have some simple icons so we can toggle back and forth with these arrows. We can add a photo to the selected set or subtract. We can rotate our images if we wanted to. We can bring up that info panel from here. We can edit the photo, meaning I can send this to Photoshop because that's what I've set as my selection inside the preferences of Photo Mechanic. We can copy the photo, we can delete the photo. Now these are just a lot of different previews to kind of determine how you see or view or look at this image. If I wanna just have this as a full screen image, I can do that as a full screen image. If I wanted to split screen it, I could split screen it. Very clean and simple, very similar to how it used to be. Over here, you've got this little color bar and I've set up to apply and make my color management Adobe RGB. So it's applying the Adobe RGB color profile so I'm seeing what my image is looking like in Adobe RGB. You can turn that on or off, but you do need to go into the preferences and set that up. So for those two sections, really the info in the magnifying glass, they look very similar to the old version and there's not a huge difference there. Now one of the big additions to this program, and I don't have like, sorry, great images to work with to do this from, is we're going to hit Command G, and that will bring up the ingest box. You've always been able to ingest from a disk or a folder, but now you can do it from a selection. So I'm going to show you how that works. You're going to come up here, and you're going to go down to Open Contact Sheet, or Command O, which will be the quick key. And it's automatically going to recognize the SD card or compact flash card that you have installed in the computer. You're going to go ahead and hit open. And I'm telling you, I can't believe how fast the previews for these images pop up. I mean, it's simply amazing. They're just right there. So this will allow you to go through. And remember, these are not ingested yet. And tag different images. So I've tagged those images. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use my little selector to disable anything that is not called or tagged on Photo Mechanic. Now we just have these images. I'm going to use the quick key Command A to select all. So if you don't want to ingest every single image on your card, this is a great option now that you can go through and pick the specific images that you want to ingest onto your folder. The next step would be to hit Command G now, and we're going to go instead of disk from selection and it's telling us hey you're going to ingest from the contact sheet meaning this that is the frontmost so meaning this so if you had one or two of these set up whichever one you have selected is going to be the one that it's going to ingest from then you would go through make sure everything's set up here I'm not going to go through and set it up but we will give this a name we'll call this test selected 
I'm going to hit ingest. And just like that, bam, one, two, three, four, just those images have been selected from the card instead of every single image that I had on that card. Wonderful new addition to Photo Mechanic for those of you who don't want to ingest every single image from your card. You can now send images directly from Photo Mechanic to places like Facebook and Twitter. So if you come down to File and then to Upload, it's going to bring up this box and you can see we've got all these places where we can send stuff to but we're just going to leave this on photo mechanic you're going to need to set up your account you can add your caption here it's got a couple of just little warnings here if you want to read those just information to know before you send to facebook you can control your privacy directly from this upload feed you can have it so it's just i'm the only one that can see it my friends all my friends or everyone so if I want everyone to be able to see it and I want to include this in my story feed, I can just go ahead and click that. My favorite part is I don't usually size images a lot of time. So if I have just my kind of toned or edited image or even just my raw image and I want to just quickly send my raw image, I can have Photo Mechanic not only send to Facebook, but it can also kind of crop in size and get everything going. So I have a watermark. I have not set up my watermark because I'm not actually using this. But if you want to set it up, you would just click on watermark and go ahead and set that up. I can have it size. So I've clicked to fit box and I've changed it to make it 1500 pixels. I can sharpen the image and I can convert to sRGB. So obviously anything on social media or the web uses the color profile sRGB. I had this set up before that it's in Adobe RGB, so I definitely want to convert to sRGB. Source file, um, you're either going to set this for RAW or JPEG, so you can say, hey, I want to use the RAW JPEG if you want to use the JPEG, so it's up to you. When using RAW, use embedded preview or render the RAW if possible. You have some preferences and va variables down here as well, so preferences do you just want to wait a second before you do that? Or do you just want to allow it to send like four or five images one after another? And variables are just variables. So you get the variables key here, but we're probably not going to use that. And then you would just basically hit send. And just like that, bam, you have got your image sent right to Facebook or Twitter or whatever account you want. So that's our first glance at Photo Mechanic 6. So hopefully this has been helpful, especially if you're interested in deciding whether you should upgrade to the new version. You're not going to see a lot of huge differences. A lot of this is just that the program has been rewritten in 64-bit to work with that sort of system. And so the, just the program in general is going to work a whole lot faster. So there are some new aspects to Photo Mechanic 6, and I've quickly kind of glanced over them and showed you a little bit of what they do. So over the next few weeks, I'll be testing out Photo Mechanic 6 using some of the new features and just the program in general. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.